Welcome to Slow Home Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. Today's practical sustainability topic is maximizing interior daylighting through design. And this is a big issue uh, for LEED. And LEED actually recommends that every interior space on a home is daylit so that you don't have to rely on electric lighting. And it should be daylit to provide enough lighting year round. So very important, but it's also something that's hard to do on a lot of infill um, projects if you're building a new house on an infill property. That's right, because as the house gets narrower, it gets longer, and so you start to have a center part of the plan that doesn't have any natural light. And so it's going to have to have, it's going to have, have, to have incandescent lighting on all of the time, and that's uh, not a very sustainable thing to do. So here's a plan for a townhouse. It's actually one of our projects, and uh, we want to show you how we overcame that. You notice there's the, uh, that would be the typical layout for uh, for a townhouse plan and you would have this centerpiece without any uh, natural light. What we did, on the other hand, is notch the plan back like that on the main floor to create an entry. But what that also does is it creates a window there and there that lets light into the main floor. More importantly, on the second floor, this is actually a house that has the living space on the second level because it has a view out to the river. We have now a window here, which is key, so that south light comes into that dining area, which is the center part of the plan, which would usually be extremely dark. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very important. Uh, and in the detail of the house, so this is that walkway up. So the front door is actually set back about a third the way from the front of the house. And so here's a detail. We created a two-story space that's under the overhang of the roof. There is that window on the second floor for the dining room. Here's the window on the main floor. Inside, we've also done something where we've added uh, extra high window because the height of the window is also very important to driving daylight into the center of the house. And 1.5 times the height of the window is how much daylight is going to go into the plan. So if you can increase the height of the windows, you're going to get more daylight to the interior. So we set up a datum line and on the side yards, we added clear story windows and then we continued that line along as a mullion line around the rest of the house. So we've had extra high windows on. So remember, when designing a home, there are two ways to maximize the amount of daylighting. The first is to introduce some irregularities into the floor plan to allow larger side yard windows. And the second is to increase the overall height of the windows and include clear stories.